Welcome to this moment of prayer hosted by The Upper Room. I'm Beth Richardson, Dean of The Upper Room Chapel. In former times, we gathered in the chapel to pray with and on behalf of the world. But during this global crisis, we're gathering together virtually for this time to pray. As staff of The Upper Room and partners with you in this journey, we are so honored to have this time to pray with you. On this day when many of us are heavy with loneliness and worry, when COVID-19 is surging in the United States and around the world, when we hear the cries of lament and anger from black and brown siblings, we come together before the Holy One. We come together because that is what we do. Wherever you are, home, work, hospital room, taking part in activism, in prayer and lament, whether you are alone or with others, know that God is with you right here, right now. As we begin, I invite you to take some deep breaths. Breathe in the love of God and exhale any tension or worry. Let us pray. New every morning is your love, great God of light, and all day long you are working for good in the world. Stir up in us desire to serve you, to live peacefully with our neighbors and all your creation, and to devote each day to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. When our words are just not adequate, we turn to the poetry of the writers of scripture, to the music of the ancestors. We turn to the one who created us and who holds us in love during these difficult days. Listen for the words or phrases that touch your heart today. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, what shall I do? Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Sounds like Jesus Somebody's calling my name. Sounds like Jesus. Somebody's calling my name. Sounds like Jesus. Somebody's calling my name. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, what shall I do? From Lamentations 3. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. God's mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in the Lord. Hush, hush. Somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush. Somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush. Somebody's calling my name. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord, what shall I do? From Isaiah 43. Now thus says the Lord, the one who created you, O Jacob, 
the one who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Soon one morning, death come a creeping in my room. Soon one morning, death come a creeping in my room. Soon one morning, death come a creeping in my room. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, what shall I do? From Luke 12. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat, about your body, what you will wear. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And can any of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not clothed like one of these. Hush! Hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Hush, hush, somebody's calling my name. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord. What shall I do? This is the word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. We come to you, God of justice, love, and compassion, in this moment, wherever we are. Today we lament the viruses that have spread across our world, the virus of COVID-19, the virus of racism, the virus of hate. We cry out to you, how long, Lord, have you forgotten us? Are you listening to us? People are crying. People are suffering from illness and from hunger, from sadness and loneliness and despair. People loving God are dying. And sometimes it seems that you are not listening. You have turned your face away from us. And yet, and yet, and yet, like those who wrote the scriptures, we put our trust in you. We cry out for your presence with everyone who sorrows. We cry out for your presence in the hospitals and the streets in the halls of power, in the hallways of isolation. Hear our cries, our confessions, our tears, our sighs, too deep for words. Forgive us, restore us, empower us to do your work in the world. Help us to know how to be your hands and feet your voice, your heart, your presence in this hurting world. Empower us to be people of peace in this season of anxiety and stress, trauma and grief, injustice and turmoil. Draw near to us and move us to come nearer to each other. We ask all these things in the name of the one who taught us to pray, our Father and Mother, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Thank you for joining us today. Always remember you are beloved. You are not alone. You are held in the love of God. Let me share this blessing with you. You are my beloved. On you my favor rests. Before you were imagined, I held your heart in mine. You are my beloved. For you my love grows deep. Before, behind, within you I live, and you are mine. Go in peace.